Hey YouTube, it's Skywalker, and man, am I gonna miss the DL44 as we knew it. The footage you're seeing was recorded before the patch was just released today. You should have experienced some server downtime this morning if you're in the US, while DICE performs server maintenance on all platforms. This new version of Star Wars Battlefront is 1.04. Check the link in the description for the full details. There's a lot of stuff that's changed. And one thing is something DICE has been promising for a long time, and that's a buff to one of my favorite guns, the Cycler Rifle. I'm actually running the Cycler Rifle in the gameplay you see, and even for the patch, I thought it was a lot of fun, and worked if you had the aim. It was good for a couple of kills around, and a boatload of assists. It's best if you're on with Scan Pulse, because you can ding someone running around the corner. If you can also rank up Bodyguard to level 3, it lets you be a little more aggressive in close quarters. You can try for quick scope headshots and finish them off with your blaster before they have a chance to kill you. In the latest patch, the bullet drop has been reduced and it deals a one shot body shot kill at ranges under 10 meters. Now that it's a guaranteed one shot kill in close quarters, it's going to be a ton of fun for me. It's actually always been one of my favorite loadouts. I like the old fashioned look and feel of it. And seeing as how I was already topping servers with it before, I'm excited to see how it performs now. Sadly, most of your favorite star cards and blasters saw a nerf in the latest update. All the explosive star cards have seen their cooldowns increased. The bowcaster has had its damage reduced. Homing shot has also had its range and projectile speed reduced, as well as significant increase in lock on time. This is all good news however if you like to run bodyguard as that trade card is as strong as it ever was as you see in the video. Check out how I survived this in thermal imploder. Speaking of trade cards, bounty hunters third level perk of 100% chance of obtaining a random star card upon netting a kill has been reduced to 85%. However it still retains its ability to reset your cooldowns upon netting a kill. Still this trade's main utility namely spamming jump casters, is sadly yesterday's news. Also worth noting is that scan pulse and explosion shot have had their uptime decreased. The DL44 has had its rate of fire and cooling ability both reduced. A rate of fire reduction from 250 rounds per minute to 180 rounds per minute seems to put it more in line with other close quarters weapons like the E11 and the SC14C. While I haven't put it through its paces yet in an actual game, I wager it still retains its effectiveness at medium ranges, but up close and personal, it won't be the same gun. One last interesting thing worth noting is that the Starfighters are now on a 20 second respawn. If this has any noticeable impact, I'll report the findings in an episode of Battlefront Starfighters. There's a host of other changes as well, including a couple nerfs for the hero classes. Go ahead and have a look at the patch notes. Well, as always, thanks for watching, enjoy the gameplay, happy hunting, and I'll see you in the next one.